Hey guys, Johnny Max Garage out here, 2015 Dodge Charger. Uh, just a regular Hemi car, 5.7, nothing super fancy. It does have the same drive shaft as some of the 6.4 models. Um, really wanted to do just a quick product highlight on how nice the replacement drive shaft is from Dorman. Uh, sometimes you order from an aftermarket company, you don't know if it's going to be as nice as the OEM or anywhere close to the OEM. And this thing, uh, it's, it, I got to tell you, it's pretty impressive. I'll spin the camera around here and show you some of the features that I have found. So number one, packaging showed up awesome. This thing is captured in there completely uh, by cardboard. It couldn't get jostled around. FedEx obviously wasn't real nice to it, but it came out pretty spotless. Uh, laid it out right next to the factory drive shaft that we already have out. And you can tell this thing is actually really nice and definitely beefier in some ways. It's just about 200,000 thicker towards uh, the rear back here. But I uh, wanted to just highlight, you've got nice captured sealed bearings and everything in there. They've got a little nicer strap clamps than the factory one even. Came with brand new hardware on both sides. The center joint here on these two piece drive shafts really impressed me. What fails on the factory one is that, you know, it's got this hockey puck bushing in here holding that bearing and it just, it just turns into a mess. Car has about 100,000 miles on it. And you know why you would expect a rubber bushing like that to capture a bearing and not fail over time. But you can see this is this is pretty pretty weak, pretty chintzy. The car had a really nasty vibration upon braking. Really wasn't evident anywhere else. I'm gonna say the drive shaft probably just bare, bottoms out in the the lowest point and doesn't give you a whole lot of harmonics until you try to brake or load it up. But you can see the front hub on this is just a, a boot with a strap clamp on it. And this guy over here, I mean, it's all captured by nice Torx bolts. Um, you know, all stainless instead of just painted. Definitely nice. Uh, this guy seems to be some kind of neoprene instead of just a El Cheapo rubber. Even the bracket itself is a lot nicer and a lot beefier. Um, and even down to this end, just a really nice looking unit. More hardware on that side, all brand new. This is probably the most impressive thing right there. You can tell made in the USA. That's definitely impressive on an aftermarket part from an aftermarket company. I'll swing to up underneath the car here real quick and kind of show you what you're getting into. So we already have the car apart, already dropped the drive shaft. Um, you're going to have to take out some Torx bolts to get it disconnected from the rear end. You will have to drop either your factory exhaust or at the very little your H pipe if you have an aftermarket exhaust. It's lucky enough I have a, a hooker aftermarket exhaust on here so everything came back apart pretty easy. The factory um, pipe here in the center has a couple of band clamps on it that are actually tack welded to it so if you saw the factory exhaust you're probably going to fight getting those loose and sliding this pipe out of here more than you are actually installing the drive shaft i did fight the front yoke a little bit i had to get some pb blaster up in there and then give it a couple pretty good taps um swing back over to the the old drive shaft i will show you that right here um when you're going to go to tap this out this is all just some kind of thin pot metal. You will dent this and beat this up getting it out. Um, just make sure you're not wailing too much on the actual yoke on the car. But that's, uh, once you get the bolts out, there's not a ton holding it in other than it's just kind of sitting on both yokes there. So just want to do a nice product I like. I'm definitely going to be driving this thing track every once in a while. And it's nice to see a nice aftermarket replacement part from Dorman.